In this video, I'll be analyzing some square one solves from the top five square oneers in the world. So obviously, I'm gonna base this off average, and I'll be analyzing Aiden, Makoto, Mikau, Rasmus, and Vincenzo. I know there's a lot of great solvers out there that aren't in this top five list. However, these are just the top five I chose to analyze, and I think they were a good choice. So let's just jump straight into this. Looking at Aiden solves, I learned the importance of turning extremely fast. While this is quite obvious for an event like Square One, his solves especially highlight this fact. Even during steps like CO and EO, he is still turning at insane speeds, showing that those slight milliseconds saved in small steps do add up at the end. His PBL split also surprised me quite a bit. While many Square Runners, such as me, do PBL in a way to save as many moves as possible, he does PBL by taking advantage of longer move solutions that can be done more quickly. This way, there is not much thinking, but more of just spamming SPS. This shows that while efficiency is important, turning fast is just as important, and maybe the best move count solution isn't always the fastest solution. <laughs> Makoto is definitely a cuber I learned the most from. While all his splits seem to be about average, or maybe even a bit below average than the rest of the cubers, his PBO is definitely what makes him stand out from others. His recognition is super fast, and he goes ahead and does a solution pause list. Even though his turning is not the fastest, his smooth PBL executions make his time so much better. And he has the best PBL splits by far compared to the rest of these cubers. His PBL is mostly 2 out, which I do know, but what sets him apart is that along with efficiency, his recognition is fast, always knowing what to do, and doing it without hesitation and without pause between the two outs. What Goto shows that you don't need insane turning to be fast, but efficiency and smoothness could work just as well. Mikhail also seems to have pretty average splits, but his EO is extremely fast. Looking at his solves, it isn't really the turning speed that makes him faster at this step, but rather the lack of pausing for this step. In almost all of his solves, he looks at the CO, then does the CO out, then the EO out right after without any pause. My best guess is that he's looking ahead for EO during CO, in a way that there is really no need to look for EO. He also does OBO sometimes, completely combining EO and CO in the most efficient way. His solves taught me that first, Obio is definitely a very possible future for Square One, and while he doesn't use all of it, it could potentially be a good method. Secondly, even without Obio, tricks to avoid pausing for these smaller steps could compensate for not insane turning. If pauses between these small steps can be removed, actually a lot of time can be saved. So look ahead is quite important in Square One, even though it doesn't seem like that sometimes. Yes! Oh! Oh! Rasmus is another fast turner, but what stood out to me was that his execution for CS was insane, averaging under 1.5 seconds. What seemed to be the key to this was his lack of regrips. This allows all of it to be done in one smooth motion. Although CS is definitely the hardest step to turn on with the awkward shapes of the pieces, Rasmus uses very clever finger tricks that make it possible to do the L regrip list most of the time. In addition, he has his base case finger tricks down so well, especially for cases like Scalp Kite. So every time he reduces to it, his ending of his CS is always super smooth, because he mastered those cases. This shows the importance of knowing and mastering the fundamentals first, to solve more difficult CS cases even better. Finally, we're going to end off with WR holder, Vincenzo. The first thing that stood out was his aggressive fast turning style, that was like none of the other cubers. He uses quite a bit of regrips, but they're usually done to set up better finger tricks for an overall faster execution. This can show that regrips aren't horrible if you do them fast and use them wisely. His early splits seem to be pretty average, but towards the end, we start to see where his solves shine. All the way from EO to EP, he turns extremely fast, and rarely are there any large pauses. Many times, it seems like he does these steps pauseless. While his solutions don't always seem to be the best, he is similar to Aiden in the fashion that he finds decent solutions quickly and executes it with insane SPS to quickly finish his solve. So yeah, that pretty much summarizes my one hour analysis of these solves. If you want to see the document with all the notes, just check the link in the description and it should be there. Even though I am a decently fast square one solver, there's still a ton I can learn from top square oneers. And I think every one of these top square one solvers had something unique to offer. So this kind of shows that every cuber style is different and there's multiple ways to achieve the goal of getting fast. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and maybe learned a bit from it. Thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video.